morning and welcome to our fourth Christmas live. We have been doing these now for a month. Where has the time gone? Thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you have not been blown away too much. We've got awful wind where we are. Um, the weather is awful. So it's time for you to spend some time in the warm and making some festive pies, which is the aim of our live today. So for those of you who haven't yet got your ingredients ready, what we need is as follows. So you are going to need some plain flour. You are going to need some salt, but only a teeny tiny bit. You're going to need some butter or spread and you are going to need some cold water. And that is what you need for your pastry. So you are going to be weighing, so you need to make sure you have your scales and a mixing bowl. And then you're going to need a rolling pin because you're going to roll your pastry out. And then you need to also hopefully have come prepared with some sort of filling. So if you are going to go for mince pies, then you hopefully have some sort of mince meat. I am going to put um, some grated apple and mince meat in mine um, because I think adding some apple to it makes it even more delicious. Uh, but if you want to have jam or biscuit spread or honey or any sort of fruit, either dry fruit or tin fruit or fresh fruit, then whatever you think would make delicious pies then do go and grab those and also you're going to need some sort of cutter um, but if you don't have a cutter then you can use the top of a glass which also works super well so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to measure out our flour and so you need 225 grams and it's plain flour because we are making um, pastry, so we don't actually want it to rise. So we are making, um, I'm a bit worried my scales weren't working, but they are. Uh, so we make, need to make sure it's plain flour. So we're going to put 225 grams. So I'm just getting mine. So there we go, I've got my 225 grams. Now it says 227, and I notice you can see it on the camera, so I best do it properly because we can't have any cheating. That's 224. You watch it, is it going to go? There we go, 225. So I've got 225 grams of my plain flour, and what I am going to do is get my mixing bowl and I am going to carefully put my flour into my mixing bowl. Now, if you wish to, you can sieve it if it looks a bit lumpy, uh, but actually mine looks totally fine. So um, it's up to you, but you can, if you wish, um, sieve it. And then what we are going to do, I'll put that down there in hopes that the dog doesn't eat it, is that we are going to measure our butter, okay? And we need a hundred grams of butter, so 100 grams of butter, or you can use a spread, so I'm using spread, um, it's entirely up to you, a dairy free spread or a baking margarine, uh, but you need 100 grams. So I've got 77. So do let me know in the chat what you're going to put in your pie, whether you're going to go for um, a traditional mince pie or whether you're going to do something super exciting and something a bit different. Right, that's a hundred. That and then you put that into your flour. So you need to pop that all into your flour. Like so. Then you are going to need to add just a very small pinch of salt very, very small pinch of salt. Oh, did you hear, did you hear the dog coming? Did you hear the bowl? Let's pick that up. <laughs> I have a lot of space on here. So I am going to get my pinch of salt. So you just need a very small pinch of salt, not a lot. Okay. I'll put that there, can't see. Need a TV studio, don't I? And then you have your 
flour and your butter. So hopefully you are still with me. Chocolate and orange pies, that sounds delicious. Traditional pies from Aurora, lovely. Peanut butter and Biscoff. Do you know what? In the Bake Off, Biscoff was definitely the favourite flavour that most of you guys seem to really enjoy. Now, what we're going to do, pastry can be a little bit tricky if you overwork it, but what we are going to do is we are going to put our fingers in and we are going to lightly rub the butter into the flour. So you pick it up and you literally going to rub it through your fingers. But you're going to do it nice and lightly because if you go a little bit over the top and you overwork it, then you get a really, really tough, tough dough and then your pies won't be very delicious. So we want to go really, really, really gently and you're just breaking up that butter. And then what you should end up with, hopefully, is something that looks a bit like breadcrumbs. So it's something that looks a little bit like breadcrumbs. You want to, as I said, not really overwork it. Now it does help if your butter's nice and cold or your spread, um, but yeah, you need it to be as fine breadcrumbs. So mine now is pretty much there because it's actually better to have a few lumps than it is to overwork it because as I said, what you don't, really don't want to do is have that tough dough. So there is my mine. I'm going to rub my fingers so that it all comes off. Like so. And a bit of a right. And as you can see, I have all of mine as breadcrumbs. But can you see they all it's all nice and mixed. And so now what we need is some cold water. Now, the ingredients say two tablespoons of cold water, but what I would like you to do is not just whack all the cold water in at once, because actually there is some science behind flour. How much water it needs actually depends on the, the temperature of your flour. Um, so we don't want to whack it all in and get a really wet dough. So I'm just going to start by putting, um, I'm putting two teaspoons in. And then get your hands in, and again, just gently, not going crazy, uh, but you're going to just carefully try and bring the pastry together. Okay, but as I said, you can't, it's one of those things, you can't, if you put too much in, you can't take it off. So it's always better to, less is more. Right, I'm going to put another couple of teaspoons, and then keep trying to pull it together. I've quite enjoyed making, doing some baking because I've really missed Bake Off. Now, if, you haven't, if you've been with me for Bake Off and you haven't seen Lizzie's um, post in the Facebook group this morning, go and check it out because she is looking for you to share your favourite bakes because later on I am going to make a video on um, all of our best bakes to share for us to keep because I'm feeling a bit sad that Bake Off stopped. And the other thing to mention is that I spent a very long time working out how much as a whole community we spent on flour and eggs and sugar and how much all of that we used collectively. It just took quite a long time, but actually it's really interesting. Now, as you can see, mine has pretty much come together. I'm slowly adding that water. As I said, you don't want to over add it. I don't want it too crumbly either though. I think that's going to be my last bit of water. Yep, that feels perfect. Now, depending on if you have to prepare your filling, but it always makes sense to try and rest your pastry because it makes it slightly easier to roll out. So if you do have some preparation for your filling, you may want to wrap up that pastry just briefly and pop it in the fridge. It makes it, it rests, it relaxes the, glu relaxes the gluten and it does make it a lot easier to roll out. Now I'm just going to put mine to the side. She says, I'm running out of space, I might have to put it up here. So that's my, that's my pastry done. How are you all getting on? So 
I'm now going to move on to my filling and I have decided that as I was doing my research to share with you some interesting things about mince pies, I found that they used to put apple in. So I am carefully with my peeler, I am peeling my apple because I am going to make some traditional pies but with some grated apple. So depending on what filling you are using, you may wish to get that ready now. Um, and also you need to get your rolling pin and you need to get your flour again because we're going to be flouring our surface and you need to be if you want to add any sort of spices if you're not using a minced meat and you want to add some vanilla or some spices like cinnamon or nutmeg then you might want to go and grab those now i'm grating my apple like so a bit of stalk in there and then i'm going to take my grater off and i've got my apple so that's that, that's quite nice and simple. And then I have my mince meat and I am going to fold my mince meat in without dangling my Father Christmas hat in it. Now she says, I hope I can open it because that might be a bit embarrassing if I can't open it on the telly. I should have tried that beforehand, luckily I have. So I'm gonna get my spoon and I'm gonna give my mince meat a bit of a stir and I'm going to pop in some spoonfuls of my minced meat, like so, and I'm going to stir it all together, which looks absolutely delicious. Look, can you hear this doggy underneath me? She is licking up flour. Are you greedy? Are you going to say hello to everybody? <laughs> I just thought I'd show you in case you wondered what on earth it was licking and making noise underneath me. So I have my filling ready. Now what I am going to be doing is I am going to roll out my pastry. So what you need to do is make sure that you have a nicely floured surface because otherwise they will stick onto your surface. And if you haven't already, make sure you um, flour your rolling pin. And if you haven't already, you need to go and grab yourself um, a, a tin to put your pastry in. And here is my pastry, not the rest of a huge deal. Oh, it looks quite good. And I'm going to just carefully now roll it out. So it might, as you can see, it's really fragile. If yours is a little bit fragile, do um, add some, do feel free to add some more water so it is a little bit more sticky. I am happy to work with quite fragile dough because I find it makes the pastry a lot shorter and a lot more crumbly. But don't get disheartened if it is a little bit crumbly. Do just grab a little bit more water and carefully just bring it together and knead it a little bit more um, so that you have um, a slightly better dough to work with. Um, but as I said, I quite like my pies quite short and crumbly. Now I'm rolling mine out like so. How are you getting on? And you want it fairly thin ish because what you don't want is you don't want it to be too thick because then if you watch bake up on the telly what do you get if you have your pastry too thick you have a soggy bottom you don't want soggy bottoms so i am going to try this cookie cookie cutter and not a circular one i have no idea how it's going to turn out um, it did look a little bit big for my tin but i thought why not just have a go I'm going to have those and then I'm just going to show you two because you don't need to sit here all morning and watch me do hundreds and then what I am going to do is I am going to freehand cut, cut, do some tops as well and I am going to try and do some holly so I am going to cut out 
some holly leaves. Now, if you have some cutters, then you can um, then you can do that. But I'm going to try and cut out some holly leaves. She says. I hope it works. There's one. And then I'm going to do another one. What are you going to decorate your hide with? Now, you can if you wish. It's entirely up to you. But you can if you wish just cut out a smaller circle and have um, and have the circle top. It's up to you. I don't know whether these will work, but we will see. And then I'm just going to try and cut out a star for the top. I actually quite like doing stuff freehand. It's all gone all quiet. That's because I'm concentrating. <laughs> Sorry about that. How are you all getting on? I think that looks all right. If I'm concentrating, you see. There we go. Super. Right. Now, I'm going to carefully take these out of the pastry. And then don't worry, you can re roll the pastry for your next ones. How are you all getting on? How is your pastry looking? What are you using for the top? So there's my star. Will my holly leaves come out? I'm not sure. Sure, you're much better at this than I am. And there's one holly leaf. And this is why I said this last week. This is why chefs have this is one I made earlier. So that when it goes a bit wrong, so there's my holly leaf, and then I'm going to do two little tiny balls for the actual holly the holly berry and actually if you wanted to you could be really amazing with these you could actually dye the pastry for the top i know how creative you all are i say this a lot you are far more creative than i am i love cooking and i love baking uh, but actually my pastry and my cooking is always a little bit rough and ready um, but it's about having that fun so i'm going to get my pie dish see they come up I'm going to get my pie dish and I am going to put my pastry, my bottom of my pastry in. Oh wow, look, that looks really professional. I'm actually quite impressed. I might put it this way a little bit. Wow, check me out. Maybe, I, maybe I'm in the wrong job, kids. That actually looks really good. Okay. There's my pastry bottoms. And then you're going to get your filling and you're going to carefully, now don't overfill it because you don't want it all leaking out. But you're going to put your filling in like so. And then I am going to pop my star on top. Like so. Got a little bit. Oh. Now I tried to cut it, you see, because I didn't have a template. I used a few triangles are coming off. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just lay it on the, the lay my star on. Tops. Okay. And there you have it. So you can do whatever shapes that you like. And then when these go into the oven, they will get all hot and puffy and golden brown. Now, you need to carefully, um, if you're doing a top to your pie, you need to carefully get some water, if you're doing a closed pie, and carefully just brush some water around the top and then put the top on so that then it will, act, it will seal. And then you need to put it into the oven for uh, 180 degrees and I would put them in for around 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'm going to be slightly vague about that because I'm not quite sure how big your pies are uh, because we all have different uh, size tins but I would say 180 degrees 
uh, for about 15 minutes, something like that. But I would check it because it's not like a sponge that you can't keep open in your oven um, and it's all a disaster. It is pastry, it's absolutely fine. But I would say that you need to put it in. I would check after 13, 14 minutes. And if they look golden brown, then they're perfect. But if they don't, then just leave them in until they are nice and golden brown because you don't want a soggy bottom. And that is, I'll show you that one. There is my lovely star mince pie. I've had a wonderful time as always, and I will see you next Wednesday. Happy pie making!